25 units were evicted today as a result of eviction by the private owner of this property. Um, more than a week ago, he started the process to evict the tenants for non-payment. On Friday, a judge approved that eviction, and on this morning, Monday, um, the constable came out to inform the residents that they had to move out. Give us time. You know what I mean? That's all we need, time. I mean, a couple of more days so we could get our stuff together and move out. We don't want your place. We want time. We need time, days, a little bit more days so we can get 25 units got kicked out today. That's 25 people and who else lived inside those 25 units? There's a lot of different things involved, but there was a large scam here. It, the, the owners here, they abandoned the, the apartments, I, I guess you would say. Abandoned for six months, No, didn't tell nobody anything. And then all of a sudden, some people showed up, say they're new management, new owners. and But I checked into everything, and code enforcement hasn't been able to approve the apartments for three years on the water and, and the plumbing, and not also for three years on the electricity. At the same time, the city's been aware of several code issues with the property, um, illegal electric hookups, lack of water because of non-payment, um, and now because the building has been evicted, it's boarded up, and so our building official deemed it uninhabitable, and all the residents um, who want help have been relocated. We, uh, several more are getting help today, and anybody who's still outstanding that wants services will help arrange for that. We're just out here in the street now. People are going, right, we haven't ate, we haven't slept. I mean, come on now, they're gonna come out here and kick everybody out. They don't touch their heart.